yeah, let's get it. We're back up in this thing, you know what I'm saying? On the topic of little dirt. I seen academics yesterday talking about the whole situation. And it's the same guy that used to have the, the, uh, the war on Chirac channel. And he stopped making content on that. Wonder why? Because you got big, you know, you got successful from that. And then you branched off, you was on Complex. And I'm not hating on this guy, but he made a career off of clowning people's deaths in Chicago. Because look at the commentary. Like, if you don't believe me, go on the war and shout right channel. It's still up. You can look at those old videos up there where he was clowning. He had the commentary. Yes, it was entertaining, but you're making fun of niggas' deaths and shit. Call niggas the Wolverine in Chicago, the Chirac Savage, you know, all that shit like that. The, the Baphomet, you know what I'm saying? You call niggas all type of names. And it's, you know, a lot of these niggas was on that demon shit, but it's like, you made a lane of that, you know? So, uh, shout out to uh, I Smoke Hip Hop Live. We're going to get straight into what he had to say about that. Um, Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? And see some like bro, I got away from this D thing news for a little bit just to clear my head. Sometimes when you see people die, whether you know them or not, it wakes you up in your life. You get ready for the changes that you need. You know what you gotta do to change and you keep it that way. For me to wake up and see this little chipmunk, troublemaker that they call DJ Wackademics. For DJ Wackademics to get on here speaking to all these suburban niggas all these house negroes me meaning that dudes yeah, no, no, no 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 let me cut you off let me cut you off you talking to the chat niggas because that's what you talk about hey chat hey chat hey chat now do it for my chat niggas you know what i'm saying this nigga was even putting on fake dreads he wanted to rap and it's the same nigga that's buddy buddy with six nine so you know academics is just a goddamn clown bro because you stand next to the motherfucker that's on that bullshit bro fucking six nine that nigga garbage and you, that's your buddy, though. Nigga, you on live with the nigga, the nigga dissing and calling on live the dirt, all type of rappers. You know, XX, Tentacion, all these niggas. You know what I'm saying? That's when you was still cool with uh with 6 9 We was calling these niggas and he's speaking on it. So you just a commentary for this bullshit, bro. You just a nigga that is an idiot, bro. Houses and don't come outside. Dudes who are on the comment sections picking sides. You know, the DJ Academic fan clubs. He gets up on here and he starts telling them, for those of you who put in blame on Dirk, you know, all this extra. First of all, show some balls, academics. Put names on it. Say names like King Von's uncle, Range Rover. But you won't do that because you a scary little frail boy. Educational purpose. You won't do any of that. Put names behind it. And those of you who's blaming Dirk, nigga, stop it. You went on a campaign of disrespecting Dirk and them for years. Oh, yeah, and another thing, it's not just about the dissing, because a lot of other niggas was dissing. King Bond was dissing niggas. FBG Duck was dissing niggas. But it's like, all right, you dissing niggas. A lot of niggas dissing niggas. People was dissing the shit out of niggas back in the day. Smoking, you know, I ain't going to say the name, because that's a disrespect. You know, you know, I know what I was about to say. But you ought to know, like, what Chief Keith said the most. Smoking this and smoking that. Like, this nigga, that age, it was on that for years. <laughs> and that's how they got big. Niggas in the streets got murdered. And y'all niggas was yelling their name. Oh, I'm smoking this. I'm like, but well, that's just... Damn. When did, when did we start doing that shit? Well, I don't know. It's just different types of the world. Like, it's animal habitats. And a lot of the people grew up in these environments that are savagery. Pure savagery. Like, goddamn, that shit is like hell. You're in hell, for real. But, you know, besides that, it's like academics made a career off of that. So let's not, like, just jump over that. He made a career. This nigga's on Complex. The niggas with, with Joe Budden. And the Deska, you know what I'm saying? He was on all that shit like that, sitting in the motherfucking complex joint. And this nigga ego got way bigger because, look, this nigga was clowning. Clowning. It was a college nigga. He was a college nigga. You know what I'm saying? He was a... <laughs> it's crazy, but nigga got him so clout. He got him some little shorters and shit. But this nigga is still not no journalist for the streets. You don't do no real shit because why you standing next to 6 9 the fuck out of here. And a few years ago, them boys realized how big your platform got. So they tolerate you for a little bit. Just because niggas tolerate you don't mean niggas give you the cool points. It don't mean niggas give you the pass. Niggas don't fuck with you like that, Wackademics. And you don't get that through your little thick skull. <laughs> Listen, King. This yeah, ain't you back in the days when the views meant weird. so much that yeah, niggas will sacrifice who they are as a man or a woman the to give you snake. that attention. Your views more than all of us, I give you that. But the way you used to be, we all passing you. Slowly but surely, we all passing you, gang. You do it the wrong way. You used to never have a conversation with these little steppers, bro. Alleged steppers. You don't do anything like that. You don't even say allegedly all the time. You just started doing that recently. Mm -hmm. You are a coward, bro. 
Leave it ahead. alone. You've never walked the streets, let alone smell the streets. Dudes don't hit you up to hear that real street stuff. They want to see you do the fuckery. They want to see you go out your range and throwing a temper tantrum, getting drunk off your hennies yeah, and doing what you typically do. That's All what time. niggas watch drunk you. They the come to the circus. And when you come to the goddamn circus, you want to see the clown show. And brother, you are the clown. That's the reason you hang around niggas like 6 9 Exactly. Now you trying to come at 6 9 like your hands is washed. I'm going to save that video for later. Right now, you need to come have right. this seat. For you, you to tell to Dirk point. and tell these people, Dirk is not at the fault. He's not at the blame. Well, this is why you'll never be no big homie, no OG, because you a clown-ass nigga. You need to be more like the, the King Von's uncles, Range Rovers, telling the truth. Stop dissing the dead. Is that so hard to say, academic? Nigga try to say it. Right, let's get to the video. Shout out to uh, my nigga. I smoke hip hop live. DJ, DJ, uh, bless one. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know. Let's get to this bitch. Uh, like rest in peace, pop smoke. Rest in peace, King Von. Some of our greatest and most, at least, the artists I like. A lot of them have passed away. You know, I, I can sit here and, and name artists from here till tomorrow. Um, Chad, I'm a shoe of bits, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Just I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cheap in front of y'all. This nigga, this is fake, bro. You're a fake okay, nigga. Fine. It's, it's, it's always like 50 bucks. Damn. But, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm just an Aaron. I usually don't pay for shit. But still, I understand. Um, anyway, right, I'm gonna to watch that we fight. Uh, that to Logan Paul. Because you were talking some bullshit. Oh, I'm tripping. What the fuck is oh. that? Bigsby. I feel like, and salute to Mayweather as well. Um, I'm interested to see how this fight's gonna go down. And let me just speak quickly about it, and then we'll get Man, on that shit was trash as hell. Fuck that. Fuck this that. This particular fight is... Fuck that fight, nigga. I don't care about that. Hey, I see everybody jumping up. Yo, Dirk, stop dissing the dead! Listen. What? Y'all enjoyed it? Why y'all gassed up and, and supported King Vaughn? Yo, we love That's that. That's a different rapper, though. That nigga was, had the different energy, though. That nigga was about to say, like, you seen he was about what he said because he ran up before the nigga and got a shot on some setup shit. So it was about what he was saying. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with uh, Vaughn way more than I fuck with goddamn Dirk because the old Dirk was at least, you know, um, in his style, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a hitter by myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, back in the day type shit, all that shit back in the day. Dirk style switched a whole lot. Remember this nigga was with Days Loaf? He had the low cut. My Beyonce, all that shit like that. Now this nigga dissing niggas <laughs> on songs of Drake. See, he made the top spot. So he like, he basically, I'm going I'm to show y'all exactly what Dirk is. Dirk is what Chief Keef could have been. Chief Keef could have been at this spot, but Chief, Chief, Chief Keef didn't give a damn. He was just too street for the shit. He was like, man, fuck him. They tried to like mold him in the interviews and all that. That nigga was, oh, I'm 300. You know what I'm saying? All that. He, ain't, he wasn't showing up the video shoots. Nigga ain't give a fuck. So that shit passed along. And who the next up? Lil Dirk. Because it was only them two. You know what I'm saying? Because... Hey, look at uh, Dirk's history. He got a lot of niggas. Well, niggas that was around him got clapped and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. L.A. Capone would have been up at that spot. You know. Um, Nooski, you never seen the potential full of Nooski. You know what I'm saying? It's like, this nigga got a connection with a lot of motherfuckers, bro. Damn, shit crazy. I mean, when I rap it, I try to mute the names and shit. But I ain't gonna lie. I never knew about a Wooski until, until Vaughn said it. I don't believe that. Dirk be mentioned Cause you, cause you know about FPG Duck. Up, oh shit, that's a. You know oh, about FPG shit. Duck, so you know about his brother. Stop playing. I'm just saying, some of the music that's very descriptive. You gassed it up, exactly. Look at the comments. Very taunting, has led these artists to these places. Like what, nigga? Bunch of demons. That's all. I'm you, gonna keep bro. it real with you, and and this is such a hot take, but and they're probably gonna fry me for this online, and I'm not. I, I, by the way. I want to make it clear. I will never in my life blame Dirk for anything that has happened to people around him. His music. This nigga sound like he want to build a relationship with Lil Dirk. Like, yeah. Because you know, all right, let's be real. DJ Academics, you know that Drake is your favorite rapper. You always say that. Drake is my favorite rapper. Drake is my favorite rapper. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably a reason. Drake had a song with Lil Dirk. And the song was number one, right? Even this album that he put out with uh, Lil Baby was number one. And then three days later, his brother. See, it's like threes, the sixes, the nines. It was three, six. No, 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 it was six, six, three. Six, three, my bad, six, three. June the third. You know what I'm saying? 
But you know what I mean? Six three, three six nine, and it's all not that. The cause? I don't think so. I believe the cause is the cycle of violence perpetuates. Is nah, he's a bit. See, I didn't like that pause. Look I at don't this. Think so. I believe the cause is. So we will get academics out of here because you know academics is just a clown, man. That have put gangs against each other in inner city. Where's uh my nigga? Um, what's his name at? And music nigga helps amplify one. some of those. Academics, you don't even sound like the same guy. But you'll lose money if you, you, lose you, money if you tell lose people lose the truth. Shit. If you start telling people don't this the dead, don't talk about this and that, it's gonna destroy your whole brand and who you represent and how you represent yourself. It's right, exactly. Didn't you step away from the uh, the war shot rock channel though? So you on complex? Why you still feel the need to do this? Oh, I, I know why. Cause you are the motherfucker that get more followers off of this clown shit. Nigga made a following off that's and you a young nigga. And you you know you ain't gonna be touched because you're the mediator, nigga. You like Charlemagne 2.0. Cause you a sneaky nigga. Charlemagne's a bitch, so we know that. But you, you's a fucking coon ass nigga. It's like self-omission. It's self-accountability, self-integrity. It's like admitting that you're a part of the destruction. You are mm -hmm. part of the blame. But you don't want to do that, so you try to be the spin doctor. You try to come out here and tell all these people this lullaby story, but the only person... That's like Zach uh, TV, RP Zach TV too. Zach TV used to make vlogs and all that stuff inside, right? It wasn't dissing niggas. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, he may speak on some stuff like that. He'll ask a question, but it was never on no disrespect because he was from Chicago. So he was in Chicago. You know, he put no one on Chicago. This nigga, DJ Academics, was a journalist outside of Chicago. Made a whole channel about that shit. This, this boy, DJ Academics, now this nigga got a rocket launcher. You know what I'm saying? He about to blow up the whole, you know, remember that? He had all, all type of videos, man. I don't even go on the channel because that shit's cool and shit. I ain't going on that channel. Matter of fact, that's what I said. What else is that? Warren Shirek. That channel is still up, bro. What was it that war in Chirac? Let me see. War in Chirac. Academic. Look, look. This shit is still up. Look. War in Chirac. This is a nigga blew up off of. Last video was four years ago with uh, Fredo Santana. Hold on. Let's, let's get a prime example for some bullshit, though. Because, you know, this nigga was on some bullshit. Hmm. Let's that's, 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 that's keep it on the same topic. I know he got a video on Lil Dirk. I know he got a little video. You know what I'm saying? We just freestyling right now. Cause you know, I seen academics. I seen this last night and I was kinda like I was kinda a little blown with academics here. I'm like, let me, let me let me let him let me hear what he got to say. I'm like, this nigga just be cooning, bro. Cooning. Hmm. I know he got a little dirk on this motherfucker. What the fuck is little dirk got on this joint? A goopy one's going. What? So, so look, all right, it's another story, look. Squad. It's my homie, I did not fuck her. <laughs> we did not fuck. We're just really good friends. Gang, gang. <laughs> Follow Who him. believe that bullshit? Little dirt. What? <laughs> Don't fucking sleep. <laughs> Follow you on... It's your boy Jackie Dumpson. Check it out. Now, we have to give the benefit of the doubt, and we have to finally accept the curse of Lil Durk does exist. Yes, Lil Durk, the Chirac five star. Look, 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 look. You hear what he just said? The curse on Lil Durk. Now you're talking about I would never blame Lil Durk. All right, we're going to end it right there. Academics, use a bitch ass nigga. Sincerely. Fuck you. <laughs> Shout out to subscribers, man. This nigga's a coon, bro. Is he not? You know what I'm saying? I'm only saying that because you made a lane off of. Off of you know what I'm saying? Clowning niggas is done. That's ain't cool, bro. That ain't cool, bro. You would, um, what's the name say? The spread of wellness. You can't just say Dirk get a pass and the nigga was dissing niggas. Come on, man. You dissing because you at that top spot now. And then what happened? Your brother got sacrificed. But you sacrifice niggas anyway. You just want to keep maintaining that spot. Just like uh, the Trap House Kitchen said. He want to keep maintaining that spot. Let's get one more drone up in here before we end it. Let me get one more drone up in here before we end it. That nigga want to maintain that spot, bro. He definitely do. We watch the video and we speculate and we kind of gather information and try to figure things out. I fuck with the trap house kitchen, though. One of the realest channels out right now. You know what I'm saying? Just touching on the real shit. And he know about the um the retrograde, all that. So tap in. You know what it is. The energy. That's, that's another thing. The retrograde, bro. So you feel it, feed the niggas at the belly of the beast with the retrograde. Come on, man.
We just got out of a shift. Now we're in a whole nother shift. So if you don't believe that, then hey, man, I don't know what to tell you. You might as well listen to some instrumentals it's or something. It's a deep game. You make sacrifices all over the board. Mm -hmm. I sacrificed a relationship. That was enough. My daughter didn't understand bills versus having an abundance of time. She didn't understand work, clothes, food, rent, mortgage versus I just want to see my dad. Me, That's important, man. I love That's money. Important. I love providing. I love for my kids to have the best of everything. Yeah. So I got caught up in that shit. I made it, it took me a small sacrifice. Put it like that. These are huge sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Huge sacrifice. You can't they're get that huge. back. Can't get that because back. what you get a little doing, money and then get back to your shit. And I'm wrong, person. But don't sacrifice shit for the money. That's when you know you're gone. No, you're all the no way no longer here. Allegedly. This shit irritates me. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I knew it. I said get ready for June. Look, that number one shit does not come easy. It doesn't come cheap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come cheap. It doesn't, no. Even when we was in elementary, we seen niggas get fed to the belly beast, whatever, it's faking their death or whatever. It's in numbers, though. It's in numbers. I'll do a regular video later. I'm out. Peace. Shout out to the Trap House Kitchen. Peace and love to all the subscribers and all that, man. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Tap in.